Hello folks, uh, we finally found the underground sub base and our uh, sub got ca captured, or one of the subs got captured. So we have to liberate the green uh, submarine. Yeah, unfortunately it wouldn't have been quite as humorous if we would have taken a tan submarine because then I could have put a yellow submarine joke in it. But it had to be green, so maybe it was a ripe banana. Anyway, uh, looks like the texture issues level out again, where it's feasibly playable again. And uh, I don't know how the lighting will look. You might have to increase your lighting on this video. So, uh, viewer beware on it. But pretty much, this mission is just pretty much a roll around, shoot a couple things, roll around, shoot a couple things type thing. Just take your time and you'll clear out everything as you go along. Nothing too bad at all. Uh, as you can see there, this level is relatively small. Uh, compared to the other levels, so and it looks like we got some bazookas there, and a bunch of men all over the place. Ow, that's smarted. See, it just makes no sense why with some levels the textures work perfect, and other levels are like they're really, really chitty, really chitty designed things. Like here you go, that one should have been hitting him, but yet it's not hitting him. But yet I move a little bit out here. I move a little bit out here. And I can hit him. Isn't that weird? It makes no sense. Uh like I said, I don't I don't know if 3DO even bothered to test the game with that or not, but that's really something they should have looked onto. Sarge's Heroes didn't have this issue, and it really kind of shows. Um, there was rumors that the World at War line was kind of quickly produced compared to the others. And uh, kind of showing stuff like that really does make you think because there's a lot of good gameplay elements that's different from the Sarge's Heroes line but the Sarge's Heroes line seems more forced uh, so I mean take it as you will uh, I mean gameplay wise I'd have to say that the uh, World at War series is better but as far as textures and the uh, actual being able to hit what the heck you're aiming at, a lot of times it goes to Sarge's Heroes. And uh, like I said, it, they just, I don't know if they even bothered to test it through, th thoroughly or thoroughly or not, in different scenarios or something, but some levels you can really tell that it's really bad. Like, here's another example. The guy shooting through the barrel, yet you can clearly see and me. I'm shooting his head, and yet I'm not shooting him. Clearly, right there, bad poor, bad programming. But yet I can shoot the guy, that guy, no problem. Really bad programming, and it really ruined it. But enough net gritting. Now we're under the sub pins. So, uh, we're nearing the end of the scenario here. Well, at least they're giving us a lot of med kits. I guess the game's trying to show mercy. And they're shooting through the walls. Bad texture packets. I think that's more PS1 engine. Don't know. But, uh, pretty much, like I said, some texture packets they have that issue and some they don't and I really don't understand why I gotta get my shot tuned in just right here to do this if you can figure it out I was trying to auto aim it
Okay, now we'll take this guy out. Come on. Okay. Now we got that guy behind us here. He's over there, remember. We have to take him out or we can't really go anywhere. Sad, but we have to. And, uh, let's see what else. We got that one guy. He's in the corner over here. Uh, he wasn't hiding too well. He wasn't even paying attention. Oh well. And we're out of auto, auto machine gun bullets, but that's okay. We should be good to go from here. Another bed kit in case we need it. <laughs> Yeah, they were pretty forgiving in this level. Some I don't get it. Some of the levels are extremely oh, and we got some more some machine gun. Anyway, some levels they're extremely annoying with it, and other levels they're really nice with it. And just because we can, we'll bazooka the uh, submarine there. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and man the deck guns of the submarine. You may have seen this in another video of Team Assault where it had a uh, deck gun. Now we're actually firing it, giving a gameplay element for uh, people who want to play sub commanders. Uh, basically, if you had a world map big enough that c considered naval, uh, and land and sea. Uh, like I said, uh, there's plenty of vehicles in air, land, and sea. There's plenty of vehicles here. Uh, plenty of vehicles and uh, infantry usage. They definitely could have made a MMO out of it. Don't know why they didn't bother, but oh well. It's kind of, uh, like I said, I know I'm harping on that too much, but it since Fez was down, you know, Fancy Air Zero, it just really bums me that I can't find a good replacement game for it. Um, it's, it's just kind of one of those, you know, irksome things. Like, War Rock has like 50 million hackers to it, and sometimes I, and I can never get that to even install. Anyway, I'm signing out here, so thank you.